Hi, Kipsters. We're going to start a brand new unit called Crazy Circles or Cool Circles, whatever you choose to call it. Um, but we're going to learn about circles during this unit, and it's a very short unit, uh, but there are very uh, fundamental things that we need to learn about circles. Circles are really cool shapes um, because they're different from so many different shapes that we see uh, every day. So let's get into what a circle really is. Uh, and this is going to lay the foundation for you when we're getting into the different types of relationships um, between certain parts of circles. Uh, and this is really going to help you when you're starting to think about uh, 3D shapes as well, because uh, a circle is a two-dimensional shape. And when we start thinking about cylinders, um, circles play a huge role in that because they are the basis of cylinders as well. All right, so let's get to a circle. A circle is a two-dimensional shape that is formed by a set of points um, that are equidistant. Equidistant means the same distance from the center, okay? And the center is going to be able to be seen in this shape I'm going to make right now. So I'm going to draw a circle and watch carefully. You see the intersection, that little point that's right in between the uh, perpendicular lines right here? Okay, watch that point. Watch there. I'm going to make a circle. And as we can see, every single point that is coming from the center is the same distance from that point. The point in the center, every single point that's being drawn is the same distance, equidistant from the center. And this is a two-dimensional shape because it can be shown in a two-dimensional plane, okay? All right, so that's a circle. Let's do, let's draw one more circle. Smaller circle this time. Let's draw a circle within this circle. Oh, there we go, right there. And a circle right there. Make it a little smaller. There we go. Let's draw one more circle. And one more circle. All right, so we just played around there and we saw that circles are literally um, a set of points that are the same distance, equidistant from the center. Okay? So that means here's the center and all of these points along here are the same distance from the center. That's what a circle is. All right, now let's move on to see what tools we use to make circles. This right here, this tool is called a compass. Um, this will be where the uh, center point is located. And what you'll do is you'll stretch out your compass so that you can see, you'll stretch it out so that you can actually figure out how long you want the distance from the center point to the points on the circle to be. And uh, we'll get into it more specifically later, but this is actually uh, from the center point to any point on the circle will actually be what we call the radius. And now I'm going to draw the actual circle. All of these points are the same distance from the center point, which is right there. There's the center right there. Same distance. All right, let's draw one more circle, this time with a smaller radius. All right, if you have a smaller radius, you have a smaller circle. All right, now let's get into uh, the parts of circles, because that's what this video is going to talk about. Uh, the parts of different circles. All right, so here's a circle. Here's the center point. And uh, the point in the center of the circle is called the center point. All right, so this right here is called the center. Point. This defines a circle, because without a point, you can't have any set of points that are the same distance from that point in the circle. So the center of a circle is very important. Often you'll see that the center point of a circle is labeled with a letter. So we'll call this circle A. 
okay? Um, and if there were a B here, we call it circle B. All right, let's go to the next one. So the first part of a circle is the center point. Next part of the circle, once we have the center point defined, um, we have a line segment, a line segment that goes from the center to a point on the circle. All right, and any line segment that goes from the center to a point on the circle, we'll call the radius. Everybody say radius. Radius. Yes. All right. Now that we understand that, let's go on to the next part of the circle. All right. Uh, a line segment that connects two points on the circle. So this point and this point, or this point and this point, or this point and this point. A line segment that connects two points on the circle will be called a chord. This is a chord. That's a chord right there. All right? Notice how a chord does not pass through the center. It doesn't pass through the center point, but it does connect two points on the circle, and it's a line segment that connects two points on the circle. All right, let's go to the next circle part. The next circle part is a line segment that connects two points on the circle and it passes through the center. A line segment that connects two points on the circle and it passes through the center. Okay? If a line passes through the center and it connects two points on the circle, we don't call that a chord. We call it a special type of chord, which is called a diameter. Okay? It's a diameter. So we'll call this a diameter if it connects two points on the circle and it passes through the center. All right? Let's go to the next circle part. All right, the next one is an angle. And an angle, I just want to show you off to the side. An angle is um, the formation of two uh, rays. So it's the intersection of two rays or two line segments or two lines. Um, and an angle is formed by two different lines, long or short, that connect at the point called the vertex. All right, so where they connect, that'll be called the vertex. So an angle whose vertex, that's the point of connection between the point of intersection between the two rays, line segments, or lines. An angle whose vertex is at the center. Okay, let me make these straight line segments. Let's do this properly. There we go. And that one right there. Okay? So an angle whose a vertex is at the center, and remember vertex is this uh, intersection of the two lines. An angle whose vertex is at the center we'll call the central angle. Central angle. It's kind of intuitive here, right? It's an angle whose vertex is on the center point. All right. Next, we will deal with two points on the circle. So if I have a point here on the circle, on the circle, not inside the circle, on the circle, and a point right here, two points on a circle and the part of the circle in between, so the part of the circle that's in between those two points, we'll call the arc, an arc. And typically you might see um, points on the circle, so this would be called arc MN. Okay, arc MN. Uh, just be careful to know that an arc uh, only is the two points on the circle and the part of the circle that is uh, between those two points. Okay? All right, uh, it, last part of a circle that we'll talk about is, let's use a different color here, is going to be called a sector. Everybody say sector. 
and you've seen it before. We've talked about sectors on spinners. If you ever have a spinner, this is broken up into four different sectors and you'll see why. Okay, A sector is the area between two radii. So we know that a radius is one. It's a length, a line segment that goes from the center to any point on the circle. And radii, so radius means one, and radii means two, okay? Two or more radius, all right? So we have a radius and a radius here, all right? And a sector is the area between two radii, so th this would be the area between two radii, so right in here, and the arc that connects their endpoints. So the endpoint of this radius and the endpoint of this radius, um, I like to think of the sector as uh, being right in between here. So this is the sector right here. It's the area between two radii. Well, that wouldn't be. That right there wouldn't be part of it. But it's the area between two radii and the arc that connects their endpoints. 